It gets so much better, Mr. Cabot. Believe me. Uh, I, I, I didn't believe you the first time, John. Ah, this is the abuse I'm paying for. We all have our doubts, John. But we want to believe. We just need assurances. What's it like seeing a dinosaur for the first time? Oh, it's like, uh, you know, it's like the early days of a new romance. It's fascinating and exhilarating uh, until the fangs and the claws come out. It's definitely a profound moment. It made an impression on me. Let's put it that way. This is why Jurassic Park must succeed, Dr. Grant. I want the world to have that same profound memory. You know, I could do without uh, some of the memories of this place. That's precisely why I asked you all to take this journey again. Had you been part of the process earlier, perhaps our first time around would have been different. A mistake I'm correcting. We're giving you a chance to prove it, John. More importantly, we're giving these dinosaurs a chance to live in harmony with the modern world. Hmm. However tenuous and unwise that may be. I'm going to prove it to you all. And Dr. Malcolm, I'm going to prove you wrong. First time for everything, I suppose. As you can imagine, everything is a wee bit of a muddle on Isla Nublar, so we'll have our work cut out for us. Yes, a, a return to the scene of the crime, as it were. What crime would that be? Uh, hubris, John. Something that'll hopefully be managed a little more thoroughly this time. I admit that I may have been too enthusiastic, and that it may, may have led to blind spots. That's why I've brought young Cabot Finch along with us. So, uh, what kind of science are you studying, Cabot? Uh, business. Business? Oh, great. The last thing we need more of. After reviewing everything with Mr. Hammond, we'll need to start by placing an arrival point. Then, we can restore the core facilities and get a ranger outpost up and running. We? Well... You, actually, Dr. Grant, and Dr. Sattler, and Dr. Malcolm. Much to do, but it sounds easy enough. <laughs> you really are new to this, aren't you, Finch? 